Hello, Walmart community. I am here today with Christy from the Sharing Center, and she is actually a Walmart alumni, a community member, and a community employee. <laughs> so yeah. we'll start, we'll go over all of it, but we're going to start out with Wilmont alumni, when did you graduate from here? Yes, that uh, 1998. Very long time ago. <laughs> it's not that long. You look, you still look super young. You're very kind. <laughs> and then you said your kids are still gonna. Your kids are gonna go here at school. So right? actually, my kids go to Riverview, where okay. I went to grade school, and they will be. My son will be coming and doing high school math classes this year from the grade school. So it's kind of cool. He's gonna be. In here a little bit early, but yeah, getting to experience all the big boy stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. get his feet wet with the high school. Yeah, that would be sure. awesome. I love excited. that. I love that. And you live in the Trever area. I do live in the Trever area. Yeah. Okay. Born okay. and raised out here, and probably not ever going to leave. <laughs> yeah. And then let's get into you work at the Sharing Center. Yeah. So we'll get into what the Sharing Center is, but what is your role there at the Sharing Center? So I wear many hats at the Sharing Center. Um, okay. I run and coordinate our front office, or coordinate our front office, and all of the programs that we run. Our back to school, our Christmas distribution, okay. our I help with our snack pack distribution, mm -hmm. just a lot of things that we do. I'm also, I facilitate our DV classes. Okay. So, yeah. And DV, for people that don't know, uh, our domestic violence Perfect. Yep. Then your role at the Sharing Center, that's just how it kind of goes. You just take on more and more and yep. more. And that's just, but then not every day is the same. So it is definitely it not the same. It's, yeah. You never know what, what we're going to do that day or who's going to walk in the door. Or yeah. It's always, it's fun. It is. It is. You guys do an amazing job. And Thanks. I, we're coming up on our one year anniversary when you and I met. Yes. And all the other ladies at the Sharing Center, you guys have an awesome team over there. We do. We have an amazing team. We're very, very lucky. You do. I love yeah. working with you guys. Mm -hmm. And I was new to the community when I met you guys. So for people that might not be familiar with the Sharing Center, what are you guys? What? I know that you do a lot, but to kind of hone in. So summary. we are the resource crisis food pantry of the rural western Kenosha County. So we serve the 200 miles west of the Eye, okay. and that's pretty much it. There's a couple little food pantries throughout the community, but we are the the main main hub resource center. Sure, yeah. sure. And you guys do a lot for the school districts. I know you're always doing like back to school drives. Yep. You're doing, you guys get our students involved. Do you want to touch on that a little yeah, bit? Yeah, absolutely. So right now we're doing our back to school. So families can come in with their children and they are able to receive the school supplies for school, okay. um, backpacks, supplies, um, new or really very gently used tennis shoes. Sure. And they get to, it's all by choice. They pick what they want and what they would be most happiest with. I love that. Yeah. And you're collecting supplies now or they can come in and get supplies now? Um, we are collecting supplies right now. Um, we are in, in need of gently used or new backpacks and tennis shoes sure. are a huge thing that we never seem to have enough of. Okay. So those would be the two things that we would really be looking for right now. Okay. I do want to mention as well as when parents are registering their kids for school to make sure that they apply for the free and reduced lunches. That's really important. Okay. And when I know the high school students don't get their school supply list right away, we serve all the way through September. We always have school supplies. So if the kids need to come in and they can get their school supplies, they're always more than welcome to do that. Perfect. And then when parents are doing the free and reduced lunch, is that what comes through for Wilmont or is that separate through you guys? Nope. That is actually what comes through through Wilmont, Perfect. but it is definitely a great program that our families should take advantage of. If families would want to donate or if families would want to take advantage of these supplies, when can they come to donate or pick up? We are open four days a week okay. for drop-off donations, that stuff. Mondays and Wednesdays, we're open from 11 to 1, and that's our pantry. So most of our families come in during that time, and then Fridays from 9 to 11. You guys are located maybe 10 minutes from here? If that. Yeah. So right on Highway C. Yeah. yeah. Right by the, uh, well, with the old Trever Firehouse. Yeah. 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 You guys are super close. Yes. And then I know that you also are coming up on your anniversary? Our 40th anniversary, yes. 40th. We are very excited. Um, 
the 40th anniversary is kind of a big deal to be a non for profit for 40 years. You don't always hear of something like that. Sure. So it's a big thing to celebrate. Um, we are having a big celebration at the Wilmot Ski Hills on September 14th. Yeah. You can purchase your tickets online. And we're hoping to have a really good crowd. We have lots of food vendors coming. Mm -hmm. So it should be lots of community members. It should be a really, really fun evening. Wilmont is going to help promote some of these things. And that oh. culinary students um, and Ms. Jacobson are actually going to get involved and help with some of the food preparation. Yes, which I think is very cool. We're pulling in more of the community to participate. Yeah. Yeah, I it's going to be a good night. Yeah. That's why I love working with you guys is because we collaborate so well together. Absolutely. Hey, can you help with this? Can we do this? And it just... Yeah. Well, just it all falls into place. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we're a force when we're together, and I <laughs> love it. Power um, comes in numbers, for sure. Right. And then, so if people can't attend the 40th anniversary, they might want to check out the Sharing Center, get involved. What are some other ways that the community can get involved with you guys? Absolutely. So right now... We are always looking for volunteers. So sure. if volunteers wanted to come in, they would either sign up on our website. There's a, a link on there, as well as if they just wanted to call in, and I can connect them with our the, our gal that does all the, the volunteers. Sure. Yeah. Awesome. And then I heard when volunteers come in, they're greeted by a, a puppy that you we have. We have Zelda. Yes, <laughs> Zelda is our pantry pup. She's like the uh, sharing center ambassador. And she does. She comes in and she greets everybody and she just, she loves being there. She loves her job and she's very, very good at it. Right? She's yes. So good. That's why I like going to visit you guys is I get dog time. Yes. You get that greeted is... right away when you come in. I know. She is adorable. <laughs> she's uh, on. Okay. I know you and I could go on and on forever because the Sharing Center is an amazing resource to our community. We are very thankful for you guys. Yeah. Um, But to wrap it up, how can we hone in? How could high schoolers get involved or the Wilmont teachers community get involved at the Sharing Center? Absolutely. Um, there's a multitude of things that you could do or they can do. Sure. We love working with teams, having teams come in and doing volunteer projects or working together. So we've had the football teams come in or the cheerleaders. It's also fun for the, the students to do drives. You could do a clothing drive or a food drive or yep. anything like that. Yep. There's always a lot of outside stuff to do. We have our own gardens, which are, it's pretty much garden to the pantry, which is cool. So that always means a lot of work. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I love that. And then what about, I know you guys offer as well hygiene products and things like that. If people would want to come in, like you're not just food. If they wanted to use some of those resources, they can do yeah, that as well. Absolutely. And you're right. We're not just food. Yeah. Um, they can come in and receive. We have everything from toothpaste, toilet okay. paper sometimes, laundry supplies, cleaning supplies, mm -hmm. personal hygiene, yeah. to pretty much everything that you would need on a daily basis. We yeah. like to be able to offer to our clients and families. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. I was almost overwhelmed when I walked in. <laughs> how much stuff you guys had. It's incredible. So... Thank I am you. so thankful that you came on, and I'm sure the Shearing Center, you guys always have something going on, so I'm always. probably going to bring you back onto this podcast. Absolutely. That sounds <laughs> wonderful. About it. Um, but then always stay up to date with us on Facebook. We're community partners, so we're always sharing what's going on, Facebook Lives, and again, 40th anniversary. 40th anniversary. And yeah. back to school. We're going to all, we're going to be at the party. So love it. That'll be so fun. It'll be so fun. I'm very excited. So thank, thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. You're welcome.